Embryonic stem cells are capable of indefinite self-renewal. After each cell division, the two daughter cells fully maintain the undifferentiated state of their mother cell. Upon receiving the appropriate stimuli, embryonic stem cells can be differentiated in virtually any cell type. They are pluripotent. In our research, we investigate the mechanisms by which undifferentiated embryonic stem cells maintain their biological identity throughout virtually infinite cell divisions. What we want to understand is the molecular basis of self-renewal. The biological identity of a given cell largely depends on the genes that are actively used to produce the specific molecules that will achieve key functions. In embryonic stem cells, a cohort of transcription factors are specifically required to support the expression of specific genes. Without these transcription factors, the set of active genes changes and embryonic stem cells become prone to spontaneously differentiate. Cell division is achieved through mitosis, a highly invasive mechanism leading to the condensation of the chromosomes and the general eviction of transcription factors from the chromatin. Together with major structural changes, this leads to a global down-regulation of the genome. After mitosis, the two daughter cells need to reactivate the right set of genes to ensure the preservation of their biological identity. In our lab, we want to understand how the set of active genes is specifically resuscitated after cell division. We are addressing whether some properties are maintained in the context of condensed mitotic chromatin that could convey regulatory information to efficiently reactivate specific sets of genes in the two daughter cells. In particular, we are trying to identify transcription factors that are capable of engaging specific interactions with some genes in the context of mitotic chromosomes. These transcription factors are known as mitotic bookmarking factors. For example, we have recently demonstrated that while some transcription factors such as NANOG are excluded from the mitotic chromosomes, other transcription factors such as ESRB decorate the mitotic chromosomes. Using state-of-the-art techniques, we could show that ESRB dynamically interacts during mitosis with a subset of its target genes. We need now to understand how these interactions are established, what the molecular consequences are, and whether other transcription factors behave as mitotic bookmarking factors in embryonic stem cells. These studies will help us understand how ESRB and other potential bookmarking factors enable embryonic stem cells to faithfully reactivate the appropriate set of genes after cell division, and hence enable daughter cells to preserve the biological identity associated with pluripotency.